Hey guys, Brettles here, and welcome back to another Sims 3 speed build. Today I am building Flo, which is an incredibly unoriginal name. I know, I'm sorry. It's just the best I could I could come up with. I'm, I'm not very good with names, to be honest. Some of them are half decent, but most of them are just garbage. Uh, this one isn't particularly good, but it does represent the house in not really any way. But anyway, uh, oh, I said twice. Genius. Twice is better. More is better. Everybody knows that. Anyway, uh, basically, uh, this is a house that was inspired by Alpine County, which is the world that I have currently been playing my Let's Play in, uh, which has actually been going surprisingly well. I woke up, uh, what was it, the first morning and the second morning and the third morning that that video was up, and I had a friggin' stroke. It's getting more views than some of my house builds get in that amount of time. I'm like, wow, it's ridiculous, but um, it's awesome. It's awesome, and I love it. Uh, anyway, let's stop talking about that. Uh, I was uh, playing in Alpine County, which is a world created by Western077. I will put all the links and stuff down in the description below because this world is amazing. You should definitely go and play in it. Uh, but anyway, uh, I was sort of looking throughout the world and it has a whole bunch of different styles to it. Um, and that's what the creator says. There's like a beach style, like Miami, and um, there's a big city style, and there's some like Texas ranch style, and... It's just a whole bunch of blends of it's all these different American styles, and I quite like it. They're really cool. Um, and there's also these log cabins, um, and there's this wooded area that they're in, which is like... I want to say Colorado? I'm, I'm not very good with the states. Like, I don't know the American states. What is, is Colorado right? Let me check. Let's, let's see some pictures of... Of Colorado, because I don't I don't know about the American states. All, the extent of my knowledge about the American states is like um, there's the West Coast in California, and that, that's just party town. It's also YouTube Central there, um, and then there's like the South, which is just full of hillbillies, and then the West. Uh, no, they're not the West. The East, which is full of uh, politicians, and I, I, everything in between. I don't know. Oh yeah, and then there's Nevada, which is just hot. So essentially it's Australia with some casinos in it, which is, yeah, I wouldn't mind going to Vegas one day anyway. Um, let's, let's move on from that. But um, yeah, I don't really know about the states. Um, I think it's Colorado. Yeah, I think it's, that looks like Colorado. That looks like the, I don't know. It's whatever, w where the Rockies are. It's, I don't know where the Rockies are, but it's that sort of landscape. And um, I just got completely off track. Uh, but there are a mix of sort of old style log cabins and log mansions there. And there's also some all ugh, there were also some really nice modern houses in there, and I thought I would sort of blend them, but I didn't really blend them. This doesn't look like a log cabin at all. I ended up just building a uh, a modern house that has lots of wood. Uh, now the name for this house called Flo, obviously as I just said, uh, it comes from the fact that there are only four different floor and wall coverings in this entire house. They, they are the outside wall coverings uh, that are also used as the inside wall coverings on every wall except for one wall where there is a concrete wall covering which is also the concrete wall covering that is on the outside and then there's a wooden floor covering that goes on the inside that is almost the same as the wooden wall covering. Yeah, try, try figuring that out. I, I dare you. If you can do that, I'll buy you some chips. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's basically the style. So you get a really sort of flowy feel with the floor going up to the wall and up to the roof and down the other wall and then sort of back. So it just flows all the way around. I thought it was just a cool idea. I thought it was quite nice. Uh, but yeah, so uh, right now I've done basically the exterior of the house. You saw the woods that I'm using. It's not old style wood. It's this really nice, clean, modern looking wood that I have used before on some floors, I think. Um, and possibly on a couple of walls in other houses, but it's it's a really nice sort of wood. It looks modern, it looks sleek, and I really like it. I also see that little sort of platform thing that sticks out from the front of the house slightly. I've seen that on a few houses, and um, when I was sort of putting this house together in my head, I thought, hey, I wonder if I can use that somewhere, and it actually worked really well on this house. It sort of uh, indents out from the uh, front of the house, which is cool. I like that. There's the concrete wall covering that I was talking about looks pretty cool. Uh, now also, if you see any sort of strange anomalies in this build where there are things that are differently placed, uh, I'm currently building now, and after this my game actually crashes, so I had to go back and rebuild what I did f in this. Um, I did it pretty much exactly the same, I think. Uh, but some things might be different. Uh, why didn't I just delete that save file and then 
record me building it again. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Anyway, it looks pretty much the same anyway, so uh, there's not as much as many plants out the front, but uh, it looks basically the same, so it's fine. Just just get over it. Stop nagging me. Um, anyway, yeah. Did I just blow into the mic? I probably did. I thought I heard it. Anyway, yeah, just placing some grass that eventually goes. I don't like that grass. I didn't. I thought the grass that was already there was good enough. I liked it. It was pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet. Uh, this house actually took me a while to build. Um, not because it was like not in actual time. It was only about uh, two hours to build, which is uh, fairly short. Uh, actually, probably less than like an hour and forty-five minutes. But I, I don't know. I just this was supposed to be built last Thursday, um, and I did sat down to sort of start building it last Thursday. Um, but I got distracted. I don't even remember what I was doing, but I did get distracted. And then I tried to build it on Friday, but I was flat out on Friday. Then all weekend I was like in Sydney and was doing stuff with friends and that. So I had no time. And then this week I uh, finally sat down and really started to get into it on Monday. And then I didn't really do anything yesterday. And uh, today I finished it. Uh, so it was over two days really. It was just like uh, an hour here and an hour there. Basically, um, because it's Wednesday as of record. Is it Wednesday? So yes, it's Wednesday, the 6th of August. Uh, this will go up on Sunday, unless I get another build done. I, I am sort of in the mood to build now. Uh, so who knows, I may actually get another build up, and then you can get a double build on Sunday, but no promises. I don't know. Uh, oh god, now I have to do that, don't I? I don't want to leave you guys hanging. Damn it, I just shot myself in the foot. I don't want to have to do another build. <laughs> no, I actually do. I do feel like building now, so I might actually do that. Anyway, it, 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 it will all remain to be seen. So, no promises, but it may happen. You'll you'll know, uh, because well, you might not, because this... I don't know. Shut up, Brayden, you're just making a fool of yourself. Anyway, uh, this is the interior of the house. You'll see over on the left-hand side of the house where you have all the big glass areas. The big glass glass areas? They're called windows. Christ, there's the big uh, three square wide glass windows there, and there's four of them. Uh, two on the lower level and two on the second level. That's just a big open area. The kitchen is on the lower part of that. And then it's just sort of open. You get a landing up there as well, so you can sort of look down over the kitchen. It just feels like a really nice, open, expansive space, and it makes it feel huge. Um, to a house that is otherwise... It's it's certainly not a small house, uh, but it's not a massive, colossal house either. Uh, it, like I said, I think I said, it's a two-bedroom, one-bathroom house. Did I say that? I have no idea. Either way, it's a two-bedroom, one-bathroom house. Um, so it's, uh, it's, it's very nice. It's... Uh, I don't waste any space in it when I do the furnishing and lay out the floor plan. Um, the, the rooms are big. I mean, you could save some space if you wanted to make it a family home, like a three-bedroom, one-bathroom house. You could even make it, like, four bedrooms if you wanted to, and um, maybe get an ensuite bathroom, so you'd have, like, a four-bedroom, one-and-a-half-bath house, if that's something that you wanted to do. Um, but if you don't, the bedrooms that you have are quite expansive. They're very nice and big. The two bedrooms are pretty much the same size. I'd say the one that's further towards the front of the house would be the master bedroom, simply because of the fact it's got a balcony. And there's also this little sort of two square by two square area when you walk in that's sort of like a, uh, a reception area. You can choose whether to go out under the balcony or into the big bedroom. So that would, uh, that would most likely be the master bedroom. That's the one that I was building as the master bedroom. But uh, both of them are very nice. There's no, like, favoritism there. So you don't have to worry about that. Uh, but here is where we cut to today's building that I just finished like an hour ago. Uh, so that's good. Some things are a little bit different, you'll notice. Um, I don't think they're too different, to be honest, but uh, they are slightly different. Uh, and yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, basically, I did actually set myself a budget for this house. I said, right, it's not going to be any more than 100,000 Somalians. And I think it came in at about 118 ish thousand Somalians, I think. I think it came in at 118,000 Somalians. But that's pretty close anyway. I mean, I, I didn't do too bad of a job. It's certainly not, like, ridiculously expensive. Um, so your Sims could actually physically save for this house if they wanted to. It might take them a bit of time, but it's not going to take you, like, th hundreds and hundreds of hours of playing um, for you to save enough money to buy those big houses at, like, half a million Somalians. This one is very, uh, it's achievable. It's an achievable amount of money. Uh, which is good. I like building ones that are slightly more affordable and realistic, so uh, that is good. But just working on the top of the house now, there's a bit of a uh, raised up bit there. I don't know what you'd call it. I'd call it a raised up bit there, but, you know, whatever. That's that, that's what it is now. Um, I was going to place those little 
uh, into the future lights that sit along the floor across the top of that area, but I decided against it just because I don't want to. Um, and there's children screaming outside my house. Shut up! People are trying to record! Oh, do they hear me? No, okay, good, my window's closed, thank Christ. <laughs> I would have felt so bad if I actually told some children to shut up. See, because I am a nice person. Oh, God, what the hell is happening? Go away! I'm sorry if you heard beepity beepity noises. I just plugged my phone in and didn't even realize. Right, uh, yeah, so basically there is a fireplace there. That is the concrete wall that I was talking about. It's actually the same concrete that is outside. Uh, well, it's not the same concrete right now because the one outside is slightly darker. Oh, it does go to a... I mean, slightly lighter, not darker. It's slightly lighter outside. and ends up being a bit darker once I uh, just do the finishing touches towards the end. Uh, inside, this is the living area here. You obviously saw the dining area over in the corner. There's a little half wall that divides it when you come in. Uh, to sort of section it off and to guide you but not to shut off the space so it's still nice and flowing because the house is called Flow. Uh, there's a cool little red lounge there and then it blends into just sort of like a normal sofa as well, which is pretty sweet. Um, and yeah. Uh, basically, I don't have it. I keep saying basically. Shut up! Stop saying that word. I hate that word. Um, yeah, I don't have a whole lot else to talk about. Except The Sims 3, actually. Uh, not Sims 3, you moron. Sims 4. Uh, Sims 4 is less than a month away now. I think it comes out on the... It's, I, don't, I know it comes out on like the 6th somewhere. Um, but it, it's, it's around a month away, I believe. So, uh, that is pretty cool. I'm excited. Uh, they had the big Sims creator camp. Um, when was it? Was that last? I don't even know when it was, because... Uh, None of the uh, other creators on YouTube were like notified of it, so they all well they couldn't tell any of their viewers. So uh, nobody had any idea what was going on. But uh, yeah, that was in the last couple of weeks, and uh, a lot of people got to go and see what Sims 4 was. Got to try out Bill mode in the full game. I just said Bill mode, but just ignore it. Uh, but yeah, it's pre it's pretty cool um, to see that the, the game is actually finished now. We know that much. It's not like it's uh, just going to come out and oh crap, we've. Uh, yeah, no, it's not finished. You just have to wait another couple months. It's not going to be like that, thankfully. But uh, you know, you know, whatever. Uh, yeah. So the Sims 4, I'm still skeptical about. Like from a gameplay point of view, I think it's going to be really good. I I'm excited for the gameplay. I think it's going to be a really good game. Like just as a game, uh, there's a whole bunch of different worlds, I believe, as well. Um, so there'll be a few worlds that it comes with, and you can sort of jump between them. There's loading screens. But uh, you don't need to worry about that because they're not going to be particularly long. Uh, so from a gameplay point of view, I'm, I'm, I've got no worries with The Sims 4. I think it's going to be really good and I'm going to really enjoy playing it. It's just from a building point of view that I sort of get a bit worried because I think it's been oversimplified from what I've seen. It may not be because I haven't actually seen and used build mode myself. But from what I have actually like seen in just videos and screenshots and stuff like that it seems to be oversimplified and I don't like oversimplified things especially when they're perfectly fine being not oversimplified does that sentence make sense? probably I think so anyway yeah I, I, I don't know we'll see it's uh, not far away I will still be doing builds in that um, I'll still be doing builds in The Sims 3 I'll probably uh, do Sims 4 for the most part for the first time that it's out um, for the first part of time that it's out, and then I'll go back to The Sims 3 when I feel like building there, so, um... I mean, it really depends on what build mode is like. If it's really good, then we might not go back to Sims 3. Uh, if it's crap, then we'll stick with The Sims 3 for as long as we can, so... Yeah, like I said, we'll see. It, uh, we'll, we'll find out soon enough, so we just need to be patient and wait. But anyway, I'm gonna get talking about the house. The kitchen is done now. Now, see this little pool area out the back? It's pretty... well, it's not a pool area, it's sort of like a pond. Um, I throw some rocks in there. Which is uh, pretty cool. There you go. There's those rocks. They're making it look all rocky. Uh, I was going to place some plants under there, but then I sort of thought, why in the hell would there be plants underwater, you moron? Get them out of there. Uh, so I did, and yeah, it looks less ridiculous. Uh, I was going to go with like a dark blue water. Not blue water. It's a, uh, a dark blue wall covering in the water. But I decided to go with a stone just because it looked pretty cool and I could uh, blend it in with the rocks that were in there. Moving up to the top level now, just throwing in some lights and putting in the paintings over there. Uh, I actually really like how that painting ended up looking with the black frame, the ones on the right and left. They look certainly pretty nice. I liked them. 
I just got throwing in a couple of little accessories here and there before we move into the bathroom. Uh, I did the same thing that I did with Android here, just placing a little glass thingamajig, a little glass wall from Into the Future, and then placing a shower over there and it looks pretty sweet. So I divided up the room here with a bit of a uh, half wall with the little wavy glass on top, and then the black bathtub goes on the other side. Oh God, what the hell was that? I've got hiccups, do I? I don't think I do have a go. I don't even know what that was. Anyway, uh, my voice went completely ridiculous for half a second in the middle of that sentence, but uh, that is okay. Uh, I also have a splitting headache right now, but I did just take some Panadol, so hopefully it won't uh, it won't kill me. Or, well, it won't kill me, but it won't make me feel like I'm dying. So that's good. Thank God for Panadol. Uh, the Panadol was called heroin, and I was looking through this medicine cabinet. And I thought it said heroin. I'm like, oh, I didn't realize they sold that over the shelf now, but cool. Uh, <laughs> don't do drugs, kids. Stay in school. Um, but yeah, this is the first bedroom. The one on the right, I, like I said, I would consider to be the master bedroom. Because uh, just it's slightly larger and it's got a balcony. I mean, that's just the uh, really the only reason. Oh, and it does have a couple of extra windows as well. So that's uh, good. There's that rug again making an, an appearance, um, as it always <laughs> seems to do. It's it. You just can't get rid of it. You can't get rid of that rug. It will it will always be there. Anywhere you go. Whatever you do, I'll be watching you. That's the Rugs theme song. Rugrats. Oh, does anybody else remember Rugrats? I, did, I just sort of came back into my mind. Oh, that was cool. I like Rugrats. It was a pretty sweet show. Pretty awesome show. Anyway, uh, let's stop talking about Rugrats and start talking about the house. There is a rug there that's uh, stripy. It's a cool stripy rug. And then we move into the master bedroom, or rather the balcony now, before we go into the bedroom. There's a little light above there so you can actually see what the hell you're doing and you don't fall off the balcony and smash your face in, which is preferable. Uh, here is the master bedroom. I played around with the bed a little bit. Actually, not a little bit. I changed uh, around to a few different beds and a few different styles, and it was just a pain in the neck. I have no idea what I ended up with, to be honest. Oh, no, I do. It's the... Where the hell did that bed come from? Was it um, University Life? I think. I don't know. We'll see in a moment when it comes out, but uh, I think it's a University Life bed that I ended up going with. Uh, I really like those little lamps. They're cool. They're like little spotlights. That's the bed. It comes with Showtime by the look of that icon. So there you go. It's a, uh, a Showtime bed, which is pretty nice. There's a little plant there. Looks looks sweet. And a little mirror on the wall, as well as some other little decorations around the place. But that should just about do it before we cut into the screenshots. So here's a shot of the front of the house. A couple of them there. Uh, obviously, it looks quite nice from uh, well, just from everywhere, really. If I do say so myself. There's a nice little tree at the front, a sort of uh, hiding away everything, giving you a bit of privacy. There's the uh, flowing wall and roof colours that I was talking about. Everything sort of flows together. If you don't like a lot of wood, you, this probably isn't the house for you, but if you don't mind it, that is entirely uh, manageable, I guess, from your point of view. Uh, but here is the living room. It's a very nice living room. You've got your little fireplace there, some decorations. Here's the big, open, expansive area that I was talking about with the kitchen. It looks huge. I mean, look at that. that. It just feels like a colossal room. And that's sort of part of the uh, big log mansion idea that I was originally going for that didn't really stick. But in those sort of houses, you have a big open area. And um, that's what I was trying to bring through here. So it's sort of modern adaptations of uh, classical ideas. There's a little glimpse of the outside area there before we uh, just check. I mean, it's a massive area. It just feels so big and spacious. It'd be echoey and it would feel massive. Uh, in a house that isn't really all that big. Here's the bathroom with that sexy black bathtub. I love black bathtubs. They're, they're so cool. Uh, nice big bathroom, obviously. Plenty of room for lots of sims. Uh, here is the first bedroom. It looks very nice. Again, keeping all the same floor and wall coverings throughout the house, just so it flows, obviously, uh, by the name. That's uh, a very nice bedroom here, double bedroom. You could easily convert either of these bedrooms, including this master bedroom, into double bedrooms, so you could have, like, four sims sharing a house or whatever, if that's something you wanted to do. If not, you can just keep the very large, expansive rooms that you have here. Uh, so as we check a few of the last screenshots, uh, it is actually quite a big room. I didn't realise how big of a room it was. Uh, but you've certainly, uh, you're certainly not short of space. There's the nice view of the balcony across to the park. And some shots of the outdoor area here as well. It's looking very nice. It's a very sort of, uh, how do I guess, a lush area. You get the uh, tropical plants towards the right as well. Uh, the right of the house when you're looking from the front, anyway. So uh, 
That's what I'm getting at, but as we cut into a few final screenshots at night of the front of the house, I want to thank you all very much for watching. I apologise uh, for this video being late, uh, but that's just sometimes what happens. It's hard to sort of keep up with the you know, having a house building video every week. Um, but I do try to do it as much as I can. So as we just check the last couple of screenshots, I will bid you a farewell. Uh, but like I said, thank you very much for watching. I will catch you in the next video. And until then, as always, stay awesome.